Okay, uh, welcome back to another video, of course. This is going to be saying 60 from the Gospel according to Thomas. Keep watching. All right, again, thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. What I go over in the content is esoteric and exoteric research in retrospect to how it influences you and how about being on a more pious lifestyle, how that can help you in your soul journey on obtaining uh, the beginning in a better way for you, okay? So uh, like we said in the introduction there for you, we're gonna be going over saying 60. This is, this is kinda gonna be advanced. I, we can label this as, as advanced as well. We're just going along with the last couple of sayings that we've been doing that are labeled advanced. So in this one, of course, uh, we're gonna approach this from a microbiological aspect for you and help you uh, know what it is to have a, a conscious experience of something at the simplest level there for you, okay? So let's go ahead and get that saying out. So this is uh, saying 60. So it says, just then a Samaritan was going into Judea carrying a lamb. He said to his disciples, what this man with the lamb? They answered, he will kill it and eat it. But he said to them, he will not eat it as long as it is still alive, but only if he kills it and it becomes a corpse. They said to him, in no other way will he hurt it. He said to them, you yourselves then seek a place of rest so that you do not become corpses and are eaten. Okay, so what uh, Jeshua is actually saying, of course, in this particular saying is that he's saying, hey guys, if you are, um, you know, born of God, doing the thing that you're supposed to be doing, obviously you are your disciples, and you're seeking a place of rest, meaning you are uh, going up and, and developing into what we've been going over in our previous uh, videos is this lambda phage, right? So then, uh, let me show you this here. Let me show you this. This is page, uh, this is from the Isis thesis here, right? This is what quantum consciousness is. It's the phenomenon of being conscious of an experience at the level of the simplest element or cell. And I know you probably are familiar with these videos and how I've been wanting to show you how there is a microbiological parallel to this stuff and there actually is a quantum aspect as well. So all the uh, information that you see in string theory or, or quantum mechanics or quantum physics, all of that stuff is actually in these scripts and they are just describing it in a way in which to uh, have what's called redlining to where it kind of like blocks people out of the information to not actually know what's actually going on and it appears that that might be to allow for certain infections to be able to survive okay and when those infections are doing what they are doing on the so-called planet then that's how they're able to what according to the saying they're able to hurt you they're they're able to hurt you see here it says they're, they're able to hurt and they're able to uh and they're able to kill okay and they're able to kill there for you all right so that's what it looks like so then if you um are doing the process that is spoken about in uh first john chapter 3 line uh, 9 where it says whosoever is born of god does did not commit sin for his seed remaineth in him so this is how you are being made alive so to speak okay so then when you are casting the seed out into the field like it's saying in Deuteronomy 28 line 38 because the curses are applying to you then that means that you are able to be uh, a hurt or you are able to be killed okay so a lot of people are complaining about various different types of things that are possibly happening in their cities or happening in their state or happening in their uh, country or happening in their continent or happening on the planet and so forth and so on but the information that we're gonna uh, uh, find out in this particular video is that it's actually something that's taking place from within you first so there has to be an infection that happens at the simplest level here at the simplest level of the cell and then you are actually seeing that in the experience that you're in 
So of course this particular resource is going to be uploaded for the members on Patreon uh, uh, with the journal uh, of all the illustrations and explanations and everything. But what I want to show you here is if you're on the left side, then you either have a hologram experience and if you're on the right side, then you're actually looking at it like a holograph experience. And what we want to focus on here are these particular uh, uh, lysogeny here. This is either this is a, a type of protein, and then we want to focus on this CRU over here, which also is a type of protein. CRU is the pathway of becoming the lambda phage that we've been talking about because it rolls backwards. It rolls backwards. Um, and, it, and some of you might be familiar with uh, you know, a, a, a sport uh, called crew. You get what I'm saying? You might be actually familiar with that sport where they're, you, they're on something and they're literally rowing backwards. That's, that's, how, that's how it works. So they actually got that from this particular expression here of being a crew protein, which means that the right arm is in control of the process of what's being transcribed within you and the left arm is actually repressed okay it's actually repressed for you so that's the process here that we're going to go over in this particular video so let me give you an example of an infection entering into a um, entering into let's just say a, a member of the body and it actually causing malfunctions and breakdowns for you let's let's get that up on the screen Contact. This is the moment when infection begins. How does infection happen? You see the tiny shapes there on the virus particle surface? They seem like random blobs. In reality, they are tiny keys, proteins that have evolved to the perfect shape and size, enabling them to unlock these receptors on the surface of this lung cell. Like a smile and a handshake, the virus deceives this lung cell and is welcomed in, where it will command the cell to make more virus particles. And that's what we're really dealing with here. Um, so we have a situation like that that takes place at the cellular level, okay? Uh, and then obviously you'll have that same experience in some way being manifested uh, in an actual experience for you in that hologram. You, you see what I'm saying? And some people might complain that, hey, well, it was th these people are doing this or these people are doing that and so forth and so on, but they're not actually seeing that it actually took place in the inner uh, aspects of stuff before it actually took place on the outside. And then this would be, let's just say this is an example of that. One from ancient Egypt and Sudan venerated this idea called ma'at. And ma'at, roughly speaking, you could translate it as truth, as justice, as righteousness, as reciprocity. The problem is, is when you're being attacked by people who don't believe any of that, and you are trying to do the ma'atic thing, they will beat you, unfortunately. And this is one of those harsh lessons that the black community is still to learn. The assumption that another group's view of humanity is the same as ours. The assumption that another group's understanding of divinity is the same as ours. The African moved from the premise that everybody was a brother and thus should be treated and accorded that kind of brothership and brotherhood. The European moved from a position that what is mine is mine and what is yours is mine if I can take it. So that's the reason why I wanted to show you that is so you can see that when you have something that happens at the cellular level or the indwelling places, right? The indwelling places. So you you have an inner aspect of an experience, 
and then you actually have something that takes place on the uh, on in the in the holographic experience or the hologram experience for you. So most people are identifying certain types of experiences when they have dreams and they see that certain things goes on in those particular worlds that they're in, and that's really consciously what I'm trying to explain to you that you can actually be aware of to where you can actually know what that experience is at the simplest level. So a lot of the stuff that is taking place on the outside is because of what's happening on the inside. So with you doing the appropriate things from within to clean the situation up uh, and to make sure that you are, uh, your seed is remaining within you so then you are being uh, born of God, so to speak, and that you are actually sending everything up and then that you are actually cleaning up the situation in terms of knowing what a T cell is, knowing what um, you know your white blood cells, how they operate, your red blood cells, and so forth and so on, and your neurons and how they have them at a um, a, a functional uh, a way for you that's beneficial to the whole team. Once you start treating the inner uh, properly. Uh, then you will start to understand that you will have experiences that you're consciously aware of in the indwelling aspects of things and how you can actually participate in changing what people are actually seeing on the outside. So that's actually how you would change your experience is by doing it from within first uh, instead of associating yourself with contaminating associations and so forth and ideas that the world has provided you as being the answer when the world actually is the corpse okay the world actually is the corpse so then when you become this crew process here then you are actually rowing backwards okay you are actually rowing backwards and what you are doing in that process is you are breaking things down so anything that might have gotten involved into the cell you're you're breaking all of that stuff down to where these particular infections and so forth are not actually able to be able to survive anymore and while you're doing that from within you see the same thing from without so you'll see certain ones who represent maybe having arms, leg, leg, arms, and head, but they're possibly actual infections and uh, contaminating viruses that are walking around uh, that have actually infected the whole. So then as you are doing things from within and realizing uh, what part you play in the whole entire structure. For example, I'm seeing based upon my research, and I'm gonna put this together for you, that certain actual aspects of the so-called planet represent an actual organ. So let's just say like the copper cutter lands uh, that people call the Americas and so forth, let's say that's the stomach, if you get what I'm trying to explain. So then if you are identifying that land as the stomach, then you can start looking at various different things that everybody is participating in, and then you ask yourself, is that stomach infected or not. Do you get what I'm saying? It would make more sense to you when you are actually able to look at it like that. Do you say, okay, well maybe we're just dealing with an infection and then this is how the infection is carrying out whatever it's doing on the planet. No different than if you had a infection that was going on from within and how it would actually infect an organ or a cell that is within you is the same exact thing that you are actually seeing on the outside. That's why it says you have to make the inside like the outside. Do you get what I'm saying? I think that's in saying 64 that we're going to be going over quite soon. So the reason why I wanted to give you these examples here, I'm not trying to say and point the finger or anything like that, but you know, the, it's right there. You get what I'm saying? The proof is there, is that what we're dealing with is if everyone actually has uh, the information on how the inner and the outer are actually related, then this is how you can not become a corpse and are eaten. Do you get what I'm saying? This is how you can do that. So let me, let's, let's look at some other texts here. Uh, let's see, that, that might be beneficial here. This is from, um, let's see, this is from the, this is from the Book of Truth uh, here, or the Voices of, of Osiris for you. Now this one here is interesting. So this is saying this, it says, if thou wilt, this, okay, let me give you a little information here. So basically you had these ones who created these particular bodies. Remember how it says, who told you you was naked, and how you had those who actually came and came into a body. So this is just an example here on page 24 that's telling you kind of like what happened. It says, if thou wilt but for a moment of thy precious time enter therein, 
So canst thou be an example unto those men of earth who will gladly listen to thee. Thus said Satanaku, and Arbal also consented. Alas, Arbal entered into the vile body of Satanaku, but he could not get out again. Satanaku's mirth was immense, and the demonical uh, the, uh, shreks of his followers terrible to hear. Terrible to hear. So let's get the definition of the word Shrek here. So we have Shrek as being a high pitch piercing sound. So some of you might have had experiences to where depending upon what you are doing, how you will have a high pitch piercing sound. And I want you to leave this uh, underneath the like button in the comment, comment area to tell me which ear you actually uh, hear the, the, the sound in. Do you hear it predominantly in the left ear or do you hear it predominantly in the right ear? And this is going to help me with some research that I'm doing, but I wanted to show you what a Shrek is. So it's a high pitch piercing sound or words. Here, here's, here's something else from, from the same text. So this is page 20. It says, and in that day, this is what's going to um, happen to those, of course, who are adhering to uh, some divine information such as like unto this and other resources that are out there available for you. It says, oh, my beloved children, was the power of Sadanaku to do evil curtailed and that he and his rebels could only offer their insinuations unto those men of earth and Kuman Adamics who as yet had not been poisoned by his blasphemous promptings, okay? So then you uh, will definitely develop the strength, of course, uh, by uh, listening to this information on how to make sure that you know what this information is. So let's kind of go into this a little bit more. So I have this illustration here. Um, let's see, I don't think I, I pulled it in here. Let me, let me get, grab it here for you. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so um, this here is called sales signaling, and I advise that you all go and look into this information on your own. So we have this first area up here. Uh, we have this first area up here uh, that deals with uh, things that are very, uh, basically in your locality and everything. This is a sale, uh, basically sending information to, uh, to another sale and possibly also even receiving it. And then we have, uh, okay, I didn't, I didn't show you the arrow. <laughs> All right, so that was the top area up here. And then we have this area here that uh, basically is using the circulatory uh, system to send information uh, to like possibly an or organ uh, of the body. So let's just say uh, this, this area here is possibly like, some, like a cell or something in the head, like a neuron or uh, of some sort that is trying to send information um, to an organ and actually it's using a circulatory uh, system to do so and then you have um, this particular one here that uh, relies on um, it being close contact okay that's how it transfers information and then you have this one up here of course that is a sales sending information to itself and then you have something such as like unto this of course where you can have a long distance situation uh, that takes place in terms of information. So what I'm trying to explain and show you is that um, you will have situations that will occur because a cell is communicating with another cell, if you get what I'm trying to explain. So then when you are not doing the appropriate stuff from within, then you'll have certain stuff that has the appearance of being people uh, that might have this information, and but they can only do something to you if they know that you are a corpse, that you are dead, and that you have not done the appropriate stuff from within. And then you will, if you pay attention, you will start to see certain styles of communication and certain things that are being done depending on what path you're on. But this is the information and this is actually what's happening. And this is what Jeshua was basically saying to his disciples is that you just need to seek a place for yourselves and rest. Don't get caught up into those activities that the corpses are caught up in because you might have a situation to where you will uh, make a contact, some form of a contact with something that can actually enter in, that can actually enter in and cause malfunctions and breakdowns like we just saw in this particular video, okay? Like we just saw in that particular video there. And I'll leave that underneath the like button for you. That's who the video is from. I wanted to uh, show you that. So this quantum consciousness is what's important 
uh, in terms of you being uh, consciously aware of an experience at every level, at the element level or the cell level. So that is the explanation of the saying here where it says don't become a corpse and be eaten. It's basically just letting you know that you know Leviticus chapter 11 kind of gives you an idea of some stuff in terms of what's good and what's not in terms of cons consumption. I recommend that you don't eat flesh though because that's also death. So you have to just be cautious of the writings there. But um, so you know, so say you're not eating flesh, you're not consuming corpses and all that kind of stuff, and then um, so you don't become a corpse. You get what I'm saying? Because there's certain types of proteins and various different types of things that are being done in the foods it seems and in the environment in terms of particles and, and so forth and so on that is allowing for this cell signaling to take place and that is allowing for uh, possibly the left arm to try to take control of the transcribing situation and leave the uh, right arm suppressed while all that is taking place if you get what I'm saying. So this is a very important illustration here. It's kind of giving it to you in both aspects there for you uh, in terms of the quantum uh, aspects of everything and the uh, microbiological aspects. And this is, this is the information that's very, very important. So that's what this saying is saying for you. This is pretty short uh, video, but don't become a corpse. You get what I'm saying? While you're on this path of getting toward the Big Bang and getting to that which happened before the Big Bang, um, you need uh, saying 18, the advanced version, in order to get that explanation. Then you have information such as like unto this, so then you don't become a corpse and be eaten because you can only be hurt and you can only be killed if you are dead. So in these particular videos, I'm going to show you how to not be dead and how to not taste death. So if you have any questions or comments about this particular video, you can leave them uh, un underneath the uh, like button in the description, in the comment area, and I'll, and I'll see you in the next video.